The fans, you know, they get plenty of formula for trigonometry when they study. Make a use of one of them here. Yeah. You will learn. So, what will be the first thing I will do? Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you never subscribe. Okay. First of all, I never integrate to. I want to just show you one of the formulas we will use. But before then, make I just run the formula quick, quick. Remember, say cos 2x for integration. Now, the same thing for trigonometry. Cos 2x is the same thing as 2 cos squared x minus 1. Don't forget that one. Okay. So now, carry this thing out. Can't replace this one. So I'll get 2 over 1 plus, in place of this cos 2x, maybe this one, I'm going to replace it on 2 with this 2 cos square x minus 1 with respect to x. Remember, I never still integrate to adjust the formula. Now I just substitute. The reason why I do that because I want eliminating so that it will be easy for me to integrate. Oh, yeah, now, so integral of, I never still integrate to, I just notice say 1 minus 1 will be 0. So this one now, if you cancel out, this one come out. Okay, so we think on the remainder 2 over 2 cos square x with respect to this x. If I want also integrate this one, if you won't give me issue, I see say if you cancel out something, I see 2 here, I see 2 here, if you cancel, for this one then they multiply, and this one has single stuff. If it is in a 0, then it will remain for the numerator. It will be 0 now 1, now it still remains. So, I will get integral of 1 over this cos squared x, which will remain with respect to x. But then, I never still integrate to, the next thing I will ask myself, should we have to see this thing for trigonometry now? 1 over cos, 1 over cos, inverse of cos, will be sec. 1 over cos, inverse of cos, now sec it will give us normally. So if you're going to get, if you're going to get inverse of cos square x, it means you will get um, as sec squared x. Remember, inverse of ordinary cos will give you sec. Inverse of cos square x will give you sec square. You understand now? Uh -huh. So with respect to x, and now I work on integrate because I don't, I know the integration of sec square x will give us tan x. Why? The differentiation of tan x will give us sec square x. So if I integrate sec square x, it will give us back tan x. That's why we say integration and the antiderivative of differentiation. Okay, so now I now will equal to now integral of sec square x will come give us tan x plus c will be the constant of this integration where I don't remove now. Let me be the final answer. Now yeah, I hope say this one enter. You don't like the video already, Abby? I said, don't like I'm, I, I don't get problem with you. If you document, if it's in sweet.